What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So Grumble suggested an SMG for Modern Warfare 2, the FSS Hurricane. I'm pretty sure we used this thing back in Season 1 and back then I actually considered this bad boy to be one of the best SMGs in zombies so let's see if I change my opinion here in season 3. Before I get into the build I'm using for the FSS Hurricane, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank Mitch Cactus for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in unlocking the MW3 Mastery camos such as the Interstellar and Borealis camo or playing easier lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics or even instant delivery of pre-made accounts then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with a bunch of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3 and they offer completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Be sure to use my code HYPNO for 5% off. So the build I'm using for the FSS Hurricane is as follows. We're using the Phantom Rear Grip for increased ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the Demo Quicksilver Collapse Stock for a huge mobility boost, the SL Razor Hawk Laser Light for the fastest possible ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, the Jack BFB Muzzle just for a bit of extra recoil control, and last but not least we're using the FSS Cannonade 16 inch barrel for a slight increase to our effective damage range. Thank you again to Grumble for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. So now that we went over the build I'm using for the FSS Hurricane, I'd say it's time to head over to the tier 3 zone and the Elder Dark Aether to see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to Urzikstan. As you can see, we got the FSS Hurricane. Definitely looking forward to testing this thing out. I think the last time we tested it was way back in Season 1. I could be wrong though, it might have been early in Season 2. But, I do remember that this thing absolutely ripped through Tier 3 Zombies and through HVTs. So we're fully geared up here. Now, the person who recommended the gun actually suggested that we use it with the Mag of Holding. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have that thing yesterday, so I had to wait a whole 24 hours just to make this video, so fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly. Um, we might be going to the new Dark Aether for this one, though, I can't lie, just so we can stock up on a few extra mag of holdings for some more videos. So, uh, yeah, let's quickly see what we have in the tier 3. Okay, we do have a bounty contract. Um, we don't have the essence to get over to pack 3 quite as yet, so... We might have to do another contract. Let me head over there. Okay, so even unpack a punched without an ether tool, you still do some work in the tier two. So uh, that's definitely a very good sign. Let's quickly slap on the legendary tool. See how it performs. Oh my god. Yeah, we are gonna have some fun with this thing. <laughs> Let's go. Mmm, it's definitely looking like the tier three zone's a bit contested right now. Um, should we start? I really hate doing sport controls, man, but we might be forced to. <laughs> Just to get some essence to get to pack one at least before we start doing bounty contracts. Alright, you know what? Let's just take the bounty contract, man. We're not at pack one yet, so uh, this is gonna be interesting, that's for sure. Okay, and we got a disciple as our target. Oh, uh, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely should have got pack one first, but I'm up for the challenge, man. Okay, Disciple, where you at, bro? Okay, actually, we do have that Mega right there. We might want to take that guy out first. There we go. Uh, I mean, you know, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Uh, yeah, the fact that we're struggling against a normal Mega, though, you know what, let's just, uh, let's go ahead and cancel that. I'm not taking that risk. <laughs> Alright, let's go do a sport control and get pack one real quick. Man, I swear I hate doing these contracts. Ugh. It's just something about sport controls, man. It's just not that fun. But I'll just skip ahead and, um, I'll show you guys my reward. But I mean, just look at that, even at pack 1, or not even packed actually, and just a legendary tool, you're still doing some work against the tier 3 zombies. So, yeah, I am already impressed with this thing. I can't wait to see how it performs at pack 3. And there we go, contract complete. Let's see what we got off of that. Free self revive, let's go, tombstone, death perception. Um, we'll take the epic tool and sigil as well. Okay, starting it off alright, let's see where that... Pack machine. Okay, it's way down there. Okay, let's quickly go grab that. 
Man, the one time I bring in a Scorcher, the tier 3 is super contested. Ugh, this is something else, man. Don't you guys love it when you load into a lobby, when the whole lobby's over in tier 2, and no one comes over to tier 3? Huh, that's a good feeling, man. But there we go, we got this thing to pack 1. Let's see if we can find a few zombies around. When you want them to spawn, they don't. Um, come on. Yo, seriously? <laughs> Yo, what is this right now? This place is usually full of zombies. Ooh, okay, there we go. A few zombies up ahead. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely noticeably better. Oh, yeah. Yup, this thing's doing good already. I can't wait to see it at pack three, though. There we go. Already broke the Disciple's armor. Let's pick up some ammo there. Nice. Yeah, I mean, we're ripping through that Disciple's health bar. Like, I've used guns at pack three with a legendary tool that do less damage than this. Oh, yeah. I mean, that uh, Geist that we used in yesterday's video was pretty bad. I can't, I can't lie. <laughs> That's why I was like, what should I title this? Should I call it this gun rips through everything? But then I was like, nah, I can't. I can't do you boys like that. <laughs> Oh, man. And there we go. We killed him. All right, dog. I'll let you into my squad. Let's go. Let's get a few contracts done, buddy. Okay. Um, there's that raid weapon stash right there, so let's quickly grab that. Yeah, no bounty contract anywhere, so we'll definitely have to do this one. All right. Easy contract right there. And you kind of see how it performs against groups of zombies, so that's always nice. And there we go. And for this contract, by the way, boys, my go-to strategy is just to chill up here. Zombies shouldn't come from behind. They'll all just come up through here. So just let Deadshot Daiquiri do all the work. And um, of course, the zombies will deliver ammo and armor plates to you. So that's just a bonus, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, boys, that's pack one. Keep that in mind. Sure, we have a legendary tool, but still, we're ripping through zombies. Oh, my guy had a Casimir already? What the? I'm not gonna lie, this is just one of those contracts in the tier 3 that I find should be a bit harder. Because, I mean, just look at that, 45% already and there's barely any zombies coming in. Like, what is this? Is this tier 1? Actually, I'm just gonna be quiet, man. I already know the devs are watching this and they'll be like, Okay, we hear you, hip. We'll, we'll give you like 200 zombies next time. Tier 5 zombies too. Wink, wink. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, at this point I might as well just go AFK. I can just sit here, drink a coffee, have the time of my life. Oh, we could finally, there's one zombie coming up here, nice. Hey, oh, there we go, that was definitely the hardest contract we've ever done. Got a free self-revive, stamina up, I'll slap on dead wire. why not, let's go. And there's no contracts anywhere. Um, guess we'll have to wait a bit then. Um... Yeah, I'll just keep the map open, fly around, and as soon as I see a contract, we'll definitely go grab that. Hopefully we get a bounty this time. Yeah, what are the odds I can get this guy to drop some uh, essence for me? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna beg. <laughs> Let's go grab that contract, though. Hell yeah. Alright, he's got it. He's got it. Let's see what target we get off this one. Come on, brother. Give us a Mega Mimic. Okay, we got a Mega Mimic. Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm curious to see how quickly we kill that thing now that we're at uh, pack one. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, there we go. Mimic's here. Start hitting a few criticals on him. Um, yeah, we'll have to get pack two here. <laughs> Definitely need to get pack two. Oh, geez. All right, we'll have to use our blade a fair bit as well. I mean, we're still working the guy, don't get me wrong. Like, we won't have any issues killing him, it's, you know, it's just gonna take a minute. But then again, we're at pack one, it's to be expected. Oh yeah. Wonder what- yeah, he's definitely got something in pack two or three. Don't quite see- oh, that's pack three, let's go, bro. Hell yeah. Nice, let's see what we got off that. Sentry gun, a rare tool, and cryo freeze. We're back to getting the bad loot, boys. I mean, what is this, man? Some brokey loot right there. Let's go get pack two. Oh, hold up. I see you pleading, dog. I got you, homie. I got you. Get away, hellhound. Yeah. There we go. Got pack two. Hopefully there's a few zombies. There we go. That's what I like to see. Ooh, got a mega right there, too. 
Oh yeah, we are doing a lot more damage now at pack 2. That's good to see. Okay, perfect. Let's see if there's a bounty contract somewhere. And there's none? Seriously? Should we just take out that mega? Um, yeah, no, nah, I don't know. I don't want to get distracted and then a bounty contract does end up spawning in. But man, this is a serious problem, boys. I mean, come on. Especially when you come in completely geared, you know. You're ready to do like 10 to 20 contracts and then you struggle to even find one. Come on, man. <laughs> what is this right now? Me and the homie are chilling here <laughs> waiting. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Got an Outlast contract. Hell yeah. Oh, actually, there's a bounty contract, dog. I'll go for the bounty. Yo, yo, don't get the Outlast. Don't get it. No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. He knows what's up. That's what I like to see. Hell yeah. There we go. Great minds think alike. What's his name? Flex Scheibenflow. Oh, he's German. Let's go. Hell yeah. Right, there we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a disciple. Nice. Okay. Not bad, not bad. The most annoying target, but let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. Alright, disciple, you ain't ready for this pack too, gun. Where are you at? There you are. Nice. Let's see how quickly we can break his armor. Hey yo, that's cheating, bro. That's cheating right there. <laughs> Get back here, disciple. Oh, he's scared. There we go. Broke his armor. Oh, nice. Deadwire is great against disciples, man, I swear. Okay, nice. Almost took off a quarter of his health bar already. There we go. Definitely at the quarter way mark. Halfway. Almost dead. And there we go. Contract complete. That's what I like to see. We got Juggernaut off that and another epic tool. Not bad at all. Okay, I'll try to rush over to that Outlast contract, but nope, those boys have Scorchers as well from what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, no, they'll get it. Damn. Okay, Let's see if there's another, and there's none. Okay, boys, back to waiting. I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. Yay. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Bounty contract just spawned in here. Nice. There we go. Oh, both of us just pinged walls, huh? Well, I pinged a tree, to be fair. <laughs> there we go. The target he gets for us. And it's another disciple. Okay. Would have liked to switch things up, but not going to complain. Let's go kill that guy real quick. And he's a bit further back, so we can actually see how this thing performs, because I think this man has pack three. Wait, does he have a Scorcher? Oh no, he's on foot. Okay, so we can actually do some damage before he gets here. I see you there, Disciple. I see you. Set a few shots. And there we go. Already broke his armor. Beautiful. That's what I like to... Oh yeah, I mean, just look at his health bar, man. That's pack two. We are eating into his health bar. That's definitely a good sign. Can't wait to see this thing in pack three. But I almost feel... As though this thing was a bit more powerful back in Season 2. I could be wrong. And there we go. Almost dead. Just a few more shots. And... Oh, oh no, he's healing. We're out of ammo? Hold on. What? Oh, I was not paying attention to that. Let's uh, see if there's some ammo down here. No? There's none? Come on, where are all the zombies at, man? I need some ammo. There we go. There we go. He got it. Nice. Another sigil, a tooth plate, and, uh, yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Damn. All right. I'll quickly stop at the ammo depot back there. Hopefully we get another contract soon. Man, just imagine how long these videos would be if I wouldn't cut them in between me talking. Oof. That would be, uh, that would be a good one hour video right there. Oh, man. And still no contract anywhere. Nothing in there either. Come on, man. Actually, let me try to do something here without even talking to him. Look at this, boys. We're going to request that, and then we'll do that. Let's see. Oh, no, he's not. He's, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Come on. Hey, come on, just, just, hey, he gets it. He gets it. There we go. My man. Thank you, brother. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. Great weapon sash contract right there. In case he wants to do that. Uh, it looks like he's going for it. There we go, boys. Pack three. Hell yeah. Okay, 
Uh, no zombies anywhere? Alright, they'll come here in a sec. Let's go. That guy right there is a legend. Okay, let's let that guy join. There we go. Oh my god, yeah, this thing... Holy pack three with a legendary tool. This thing is a whole different animal, man. Let's go. Hell yeah, I can't wait to do a bounty contract. There's one right next to us too. But we're doing this one right now. Yeah, so the other people are all the way back there. Maybe we'll make it. Let's see. Hopefully this thing finishes quick enough. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I am loving this gun. Just look at that. Of course, it's an SMG, which is my favorite. Yeah, that's feeling good, man. That is definitely feeling good. I can't wait to go to the Elder Dark Ether with this thing. Hey, my boy is waiting on that contract. <laughs> he is not messing around. Let's go. Oh, that's actually a smart move. Is he chilling there so that you don't really see the bounty contract? Yeah, they'll probably see him there and then they'll be like, oh, no point going over there. Let's go. Smart move, my guy. Smart move. Oh, no. They're flying over to it, dude. Uh, oh, we got it. Nice. Got elemental pop as well. I'll take that. And brain rot. Nice. That's the ammo mod I was looking for. And we got a mimic now. Let's go. All right, let's go kill that guy real quick. Shouldn't have any issues taking him out at pack three. Well, let's see, man. Let's see. Let's quickly come down here. Ooh, another squad mate. Okay. We're in a pretty big team. Okay, and we have a mega just uh, chilling on that roof. Nice. That's what I like to see. Oh my god, look at his health bar drop, man. Boys, that is crazy. Yeah, that's uh, that's just insane. <laughs> Holy. There we go. Oh, let's not go down. Nice. Okay, yeah. Just from those few shots, look at the damage we did, dude. Almost took off a quarter of his health. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing is feeling good at pack three. Let's go. Contract complete already. An extra three plate. Um, all of our teammates have one, so I'll just leave that in there. Okay. Uh, no contracts anywhere. I think I'll do one more and then we'll go over to the dark ether would have been nice to get a pack crystal like a pack one or something at least just to get the scorcher pack a punch real quick because i don't want to spend too much essence on that right now oh actually the mega we kill dropped one let's go <laughs> nice got this thing a pack two now let's go um let's grab that casimir yeah i'd say we're pretty much ready for our dark ether run i'll just do one more contract with these boys and uh then we'll head over there if it doesn't take too long, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll give it like a minute or two. But in terms of the FSS Hurricane, I will say this. The damage output is insane at pack 3. Mobility is great, of course, with this build and it's an SMG, so that's kind of to be expected. Um, but ammo does seem to be a bit of an issue. So I'm not sure if I was just neglecting to pick up ammo or I don't know. But we'll see once we're in the dark ether since there's a bunch of zombies spawning there. Ooh, someone's pleading for help. Yeah, I think those boys got him there, right? Yeah, they're right next to him. Are they not going to pick him up? Man, just look at that. Come on. I'll go get him. I got you, homie. Don't even worry about it. Oh, hell no. We almost flew into those blades. That would not have been a good time. <laughs> Dude, just imagine dying like that. Oh, that would have been bad. Uh, okay, still no contract anywhere. You know what? I think I'll just go ahead and leave squad. Like, yeah, there... No, oh, hell no. Nope, nope. I am not doing that, man. I am not doing that. Hold on. Let's just uh, land here quickly, and then I will leave squad. We Gucci. We Gucci. Uh, there we go. All right, made it to the portal. Let's use our Elder Sigil, accept that teleport, and I'll see you all in the tier five zone. And there we go. We made it to the tier five zone. So once you spawn in, just turn around and run into this warehouse building right here. That's my preferred strategy. Now climb this container, go through this window, and there we go. You got the first contract right here. Now, unfortunately, we actually got a Disciple. Um, I'll probably have to drop Jug for that one, I'm not gonna lie, because Disciples are super annoying, even if you have a really good gun. Um, I think we'll still 
test it for a bit, but yeah, Disciples are generally speaking the hardest contract you can get here. And uh, unless you have an unlimited supply of Casimirs, there's not much you can do against them, I'm not gonna lie. But, let's see how it performs. Alright, I see him there. I see you, buddy. Let's come over here, throw that. There we go. Swap weapon, hurry up. There we go. Oh my god. Let's throw that again. Uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be rough, boys. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's throw our blade. We need him to come a bit closer to us. That's what's messing us up. I mean, yeah, just look at all the zombies, boys. That's what I'm saying. Not much you can do <laughs> unless you have a bunch of Casimirs. All right, I'll still give it a go, but if it gets too annoying, then we'll probably just drop Jug, just to play it safe. Ooh, we don't even have Speed Cola. No way. Okay, we should be fine though. No biggie. We also don't have to reload thanks to Mag of Holding, so that's definitely gonna help out a bit. Alright, let's keep lighting these boys up. We can't take too long with this contract since we only have 13 minutes in total to do the other two as well. So, yeah, we definitely need to speed things up here. Okay, we broke his armor already, that's a good sign. And we're hitting criticals. We're at that quarter way mark now, which is good to see. Uh, there we go. Stopped his heal. Nice. Let's keep lighting him up. This is really good right here. We can do a lot of damage. Nice. About to hit that halfway mark. Okay, luckily there aren't too many zombies on us, but we do need to pick up some more ammo. There we go. Wait, we have Mag of Holding. Why are you reloading, dude? <laughs> there we go. Spawning a few more, but that's some free criticals for us again. There we go. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Nice, should be some ammo back here, hopefully. There we go. That's what I like to see. Nice, let's shoot his arm, come on. Nice, stopped his heal. Oh, we are so close to killing this guy, man. And there we go, contract complete. Didn't even have to drop Jug, so that's definitely a good sign. Um, Mag of Holding, which is the main reason we came over here. And we finally got Speed Cola, let's go. And of course, there's the VR11 plans right there. Um, I guess I could expel it just for some extra XP. Uh, yeah. Okay, so once you finish that contract, now we are actually closer to the mall. Normally, if you get the Mega Abomination, I'd recommend going to E7 on the map to so get that Outlast contract. But since we're closer to the mall, we'll just come over here. Now, the best way to get up here is actually... Hold on, let me show you guys that. Since not all of you are going to have a Scorcher, right? Now, in this room right here, there's an ether tier, so you can just run into that. That's going to shoot you up into the sky, and then you can just land on the peak up here. And this is where you find the ether extractor contract. So let's just quickly pick that up. There we go. Once you got that, start running west immediately. And as you can see up ahead, the three extractors are already landing. So we're just going to quickly use a scorcher to speed things up. Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, just keep running and parachute onto that platform. And from there, you can actually parachute over to this rooftop, like so. Now, let's just quickly throw a Casimir. Nice. That's going to pull in all the zombies. And more importantly, it's going to let us disable the extractor. There we go. That's one out of three. Then start running towards the second extractor. There we go. Then just throw a Casimir at that wall like so it's gonna pull in all the zombies once again now we don't have a third extract or we don't have a third casimir actually so what we'll do is just run towards that final extractor and uh we'll pop ether shroud real quick there we go start disabling this yeah we should survive nice beautiful that's what i like to see there we go <laughs> nice Let's see what we got mag of holding i will take thank you all right, we'll have to back up a little bit here. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to check the other rewards, actually, because, yeah, there's, like, an unlimited amount of zombies right here. <laughs> Let's just try quickly. I won't spend too much time, because I do want to do that third contract as well. Okay, let's just quickly swing by again. Uh, stamp. Okay, nothing important. And, of course, the Mag of Holding schematic in there. Okay, so once you finish that contract, just climb up this ladder right here, and this is where you find the final contract, being the Outlast contract. 
Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, you can just parachute off this rooftop into this foggy area back here. There shouldn't be too many zombies for you to worry about. Like so. There we go. Then just run up this hill right here and climb these two walls. And there we go. We made it to the diner and this is where you find the PND device. So just get this activated. There we go. Then run over into this kitchen area back here and climb on top of these freezers. Once you're up here, you can just let Deadshot Daiquiri do all the work and you can rip through all the zombies coming your way. Definitely a super easy contract, just take your time with it, don't take any unnecessary risks, and I'll see you guys once I'm done. Or of course if you want to, you can just train the zombies in this room, that works as well, but I prefer the action of being back in this corner and just killing all the zombies. Definitely a lot more fun. I mean, yeah, just look at that, man. <laughs> I'm loving this gun. Oh, we're out of ammo. Hold up. Yeah, I'd say that's the only issue with this gun is the uh, ammo. Other than that, there's nothing bad to say about it. So I think my rating for this thing's going to have to be like a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, because ammo, you know, you can still manage. You'll just have to focus on actually picking it up off zombies. Which, you know, might get a bit annoying sometimes, but that's why I'll subtract 0.5 from my final rating. And there we go, contract complete. Uh, let's just kill that hellhound, there we go. Once you finish that, most of the zombies should actually die. Let's see what's in here, a pack 2 crystal I will take, and mag of holding. I'll drop a normal sigil. Definitely need those mag of holdings though. <laughs> they always help out with making these videos. So uh, yeah, definitely a decent run here today. Unfortunately, we didn't end up getting a legendary tool, but I do have two extras, so I'm not stressing about that. The main reason we came here was for the Mag of Holding, so yeah, definitely happy about that. So once again, my final rating for the FSS Hurricane is going to have to be a 9.5 out of 10. Like I said earlier, the damage output on this thing is absolutely insane. Mobility is great. Um, the only downside, once again, is the ammo. But if you focus on actually picking it up, you should be fine. So thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.